The 26.2 Foundation recently hosted a public viewing of the progress made on the International Marathon Center. The land has already been approved and they are now in the design process working with Terry Healy, the co-founder and design principal for the multidisciplinary design firm Healy Kohler out of Washington, D.C. Uh, and the ancient Greece, the, the, the idea of democracy, and then from that we move into an area of the modern Olympics starting with 1896, uh, which is then that kingpin, that, that evolution that gets us to the Boston Marathon, uh, right there. So the first part of this visitor experience is that we're dictating to the visitor that you have to go along this path because along that path gives you that history, the rich history of the marathon. It also defines why the center is in Hopkinton and the relationship to Boston, so it's site specific. But the best part about this visitor experience is at the start line. And at the start line, you actually walk into the marathon gallery. Um, and just to let you know, there's blacktop in the Marathon ga Gallery. Um, and from the Marathon Gallery, you then have access up into the, uh, the top part, which is the Marathon Culture. So all of this is open. And what happens is that when you're in this space, over on the right-hand side, right-hand side, left-hand side, uh, right-hand side, you, you have a large glass, a wall of glass. So you have that vista outside. And part of what the exhibit experience is, is that when you're running in a marathon, you're, you're looking down, you're looking up, you're looking left and right, and you're looking where you're going. And that's what we want to do within this experience. So from that main spine, uh, we have the culture on the top, then we have the health and well-being, and then the science and technology. All of this has been programmed so it works with different audiences as they come into the space. And then, at this point of your experience, we have a finish line. And from the finish line, you go into the Hall of Excellence. And within the Hall of Excellence, you are introduced to those people that inspire, those people that have been associated with the marathon. So, with that, a little bit of a secret about this is that when you start a marathon, and I'm gonna show my age, I had to put a little RFID chip in my shoestrings, right? So when you start at the start line, you actually have a bank of computers and you register your name, a little bit about you, uh, age, have you run marathons before, uh, which ones, that kind of stuff. But you register, you get an RFID chip, and as you move through the experience, where you visit Tokyo, which has an interactive screen, uh, London, Chicago, you can personalize your own visit, and you can build your own marathon. You can, you're asked to design a route. You are asked to design a logo. You can, you, we don't want to say that you're a director, but you can bring, you can design and you can create your fantasy marathon. This is why it's an open area, is that you're starting to see these large cases. We call those uh, uh, open storage type cases. So there's going to be cases that have all the t-shirts that we've all saved, right? <sighs> yeah. And we're going to have the cases of those costumes that those weird people actually wear. Um, we have a case on bibs. Uh, we have the case on the themes. It's because what we want to do is if you're from San Francisco or Pittsburgh, we want you to feel connected because you've run in that marathon or you've been associated with that marathon. So it's all about building these connections. You can view the full program airing soon on HCAM.